Hi, welcome to this video. I'm John Paul of the blog Pimentar.com. We are continuing the series of videos about SCT messages. This video is about the PAX4 used as positive answer to a recall. This video will focus on the main differences between PAX4 used as return of SCT and the PAX4 used as positive answer to a recall. There's a video available on the PAX4 return where you find the PAX4 identity card, the PAX4 message structure and building blocks, the reason codes that are used in the PAX4 normal return and other things. I refer you to that video if you are interested in all the topics I just mentioned. In this video, we'll start as usual with the overview of all the messages exchanged in the SCT classic scheme so that we can locate the PAX4 positive response to a recall and the parties which exchange it. Then we look at the specificities of the PAX4 when it is used as a positive answer to a cancellation request. The final part, all specificities of the PAX4 positive response to a recall compared to the normal return will be presented. So let's begin with the overview of SCT messages. These are all the messages that you find in the implementation guidelines. The older versions, because I found out recently that there are new type of messages in the new version of the implementation guidelines, and we'll get back to those later. So let's get back to this. The PAX4 version 1.2 positive answer to a recall is highlighted in green color below. It is sent by the creditor bank to the debtor bank. This is always the case in the SEPA credit transfer scheme, classic and instant. So if someone talks about receiving a PAX4, you know that he's on the debtor bank side. And if you are working on sending a PAX4, then you are on the creditor bank side. Very important to have this structure in mind because in payments, as I have already said in previous videos, the direction of the message matters a lot. Now, let's take a closer look at the specificities of the PAX4 positive answer to recall. The first specificity the reason code of this PAX4. As a reminder, all the reason codes allowed in SEPA can be found in the implementation guidelines and after the interbank return credit transfer dataset description and under the paragraph message elements specification. That's what you see on the right side. The only reason code allowed in a positive response to a record is FOCR. And this is highlighted at many places in the implementation guideline. All the other reason codes listed in the, in the implementation guidelines are for the normal return. By the way, FOCR means following cancellation request. So this indicates that the PAX4 was sent following the processing of a received cancellation request. Let's move to the second specificity. The second specificity is the charges in the PAX4 positive response to recall. Like the PAX4 used for the normal return, the PAX4 used as positive response to recall is used to return funds. However, the creditor bank sending a positive response to recall can take fees. That is not the case for normal returns where fees cannot be taken. When sending a normal return, the bank must return the total amount it received. We'll get back to that in the next slide. When sending a PAX4 positive response to recall, fees can be deducted from the original interbank settlement amount. Fees are provided under charges information, but note that it is optional. Even if fees can be taken, a bank may choose not to take them at all. Now, how does the fees impact the interbank settlement amount? The answer is very simple, and this brings us to the next specificity, the settlement amount of PAX4 positive response to recall. In the PAX4 positive response to recall, the settlement amount must be equal to the original interbank settlement amount that is provided in the SEPA credit transfer less 
the amount under charges information. So the amount might be different from the one received in the separate credit transfer message. In case the bank chooses not to take charges and that is allowed in SEPA, the settlement amount will be equal to the original settlement amount of the SEPA credit transfer. In practice, banks do take charges. I will say this is even the norm because it is an opportunity to get some additional revenues. There's a last specificity, but I will present it directly in the summary. So here's the summary of all the particularities of the PAX4 positive response to recall. Let's first consider what we saw about the reason codes. We saw that for the normal return, all reason codes allowed in SEPA can be used except FOCR. And the list is available in the implementation guidelines. And for the, for the positive response to a recall, only FOCR is allowed. And we saw it means following cancellation request. The settlement amount of a normal return must be equal to the original interbank settlement amount provided in the received SCT message. The creditor bank is not allowed to take charges. However, for a positive response to recall, the amount is equal to the original interbank settlement amount that is also provided in the receive SCT message, less the amount on the charges information. Here, creditor banks are allowed to take charges and it is the norm they do take charges. The last specificity is regarding the time cycles. Normal return must be sent within three banking business days after the settlement dates of the credit transfer. Positive response to recall can be sent up to 10 banking business days following the SCT recall request from the originator bank. Since the recall message can be sent up to 10 banking business days after settlement of SCT, the positive response to recall can then be sent up to 20 banking business days after settlement date of the SEPA credit transfer. So the positive answer to cancellation request has some specificities that we must be aware of. At the end of this presentation, if you have any question, just post a comment below the video. If you found the presentation useful, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to the permantor.com blog and subscribe to the newsletter to receive regular updates about articles and video. Take care and see you soon on the channel.